LA2. Windows 8.1 is available, so I thought I'd mark the occasion by upgrading my Surface RT with it. So, what I'm going to do for your viewing pleasure is show you how to update it. Whether you're on a Surface, another tablet, or a computer, it should be the same either way. So, once these updates are done configuring themselves, <clears throat> we'll uh, get this thing started. Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, logging in. Now, I've read conflicting reports online. Some say it's available through Windows Update. Some say it's available through the store. I'm going to assume it's in the store, so let's go in there and poke around. There it is. There you go. You go straight into the store, and it's right there. So hit that. Now, of course, this is Windows RT 8.1, so it, it, it's it, the concept is still the same. I mean, you're still getting 8.1 on either either an x86 machine or an ARM machine. So the download size for Windows RT 8.1 is 2.11 gigabytes, so it's a pretty hefty download. So I'll hit download, <clears throat> and uh, we'll do this thing and see how smooth the upgrade process is. That's the main thing that I'm focused on here. Windows 8.1 is better than 8, but I just wonder how well they've implemented the upgrade process with all this new stuff they've put in. So, we'll get Windows RT 8.1 installed, and be all good. doesn't appear to be doing anything. <laughs> oh, now it is. Yeah, that was weird. The, the little status thing up top disappeared for a minute there. Oh, well that's a good sign. Guess I better check my network connection. Am I on the right Wi-Fi network? Yeah, I am. I'm on the right Wi-Fi network. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe the maybe the servers are overloaded with everybody trying to get it. I bet you anything that's what's going on. So let's try this again. Download. There we go. Now it worked. So it downloads much like an app does in the uh, Windows Store. It's just going to take one. Uh, it's just going to take a really long time because it's RT 8.1 or just Windows 8.1 in general, so this is upgrading the surface with it. And we'll see how good the upgrade process is. I'll let this beast download. Oh man, it's getting the update ready. Now it's checking compatibility. Now it's applying changes. Oh boy. Gathering info. And now it says preparing to restart, so I guess it's going to restart and update Windows 8 to Windows RT 8.1 it will restart several times as we install Windows RT 8.1 if you're in the middle of something close this message and save your work and restart well let's restart Look how shiny it is. You can see me in there. <laughs> Come on, do your thing. All right, there it goes. This part is taking an eternity. At least on my surface it's taking forever to happen. So yeah. Hopefully this finishes before Christmas. <laughs> and it restarted. So let's see what it does next. Getting devices ready. Yeah, this looks a lot like it did when I first installed Windows 8 on a computer. 8.1 clearly hasn't changed all that much. 
and it's set up an upgrade process. So that's a good thing. Back to getting ready again. Applying PC settings. Wonder how long that's going to take. And it finished that process. Let's see what happens next. Alright, there it goes. It's doing something now. <sighs> Setting up a few more things. I like how casual they are now. <laughs> and how the light sensor kicked in so it's not so bright. Even to the camera, it's not nearly as bright anymore. So, let's let that go. And it finished that, so now it's getting ready. For what? It's only inevitable. Alright, we're at the license terms, finally! It took forever. Windows RT 8.1, there you have it. Check the accept button. Oh, wait a minute. Use the express settings. Enter my password. Next, you'll set up your account. Yeah, here's the thing. It says set up my next I'll set up my account. The next time you sign into this device, use your Microsoft account. I don't want to use my Microsoft account. I don't want uh, How about I just ignore that? Looks like I have to look up how to get past this part. Alright, I figured that out. Uh, when it wants you to enter that account, when it wants you to enter your Microsoft account details, you just, uh, I found the website, I found on the Windows website actually how to do it. You, uh, yeah. So it shows you the same things that Windows 8 does at the beginning. Now on this on Windows webs on the Microsoft website I chose to do this. But if you want to use a local account instead, choose create new account and then on the new account page continue choose continue using my account. So once you get to that page where it asks you for your Microsoft account information, you just hit uh, create new account. And then within that window there is a continue using my existing account option and you just hit that and then you can keep using your local account. It's a bit buried in there, not too obvious, but it's there. <laughs> now we get to watch the pretty colors. Yay, pretty colors. Hopefully it actually does install my apps, and I don't have to download all of them again, because that would be really annoying. Someone I know actually had it happen where all their apps were wiped from updating to the, to the uh, Windows 8.1 preview. So hopefully they, f iron they ironed out that. Uh, portion of it. Again, they have this like vagueness about everything. Taking care of a few things. Installing your apps. Stuff, whenever it used to install things, it would sound so official and professional, and now it just sounds like it's one of us. 
But I guess that's the marketing they were going for. Who knows? Now, the reason it's pushing the Microsoft account so hard is the same reason that Apple pushes their Apple ID stuff so hard on uh, iOS devices. It's so that uh, you can have a cloud experience all the time. And the way I use my Surface, I don't need that. Uh, I, I, I don't need it. On a computer, on another tablet, maybe, but the way I use the Surface, I really don't need it. Uh, I don't like depending on the cloud for everything because, yeah, <laughs> just not my cup of tea. I like local. I like. I'm old school, so I like be things being very localized and under my control. I'm assuming once this is done, it'll just go right to the start screen. So we'll come back when that happens. Getting your apps ready. Oh boy. The funny thing is, I'm on a tablet with a keyboard and still calls it a PC. <laughs> I've always I just found that odd for some reason, but it's a unified experience, so I guess they just have to do that. Yep, there we go. And there we are. There's Windows eight point one. Comes with Skype right there. along with many other apps. A lot of it hasn't changed because I just upgraded instead of doing a clean install. Oh boy. Word 2013. Let's see if that's changed at all. Desktop looks like it's the same. Except there's a start button down here now. And of course there's some new stuff in the dock is down here in the start in the uh taskbar as well. They stuck Outlook down there, so now with eight point one Office has Outlook built in. You get Outlook twenty thirteen, so I'll stick that at the end here. Which is really good for business users. That will make uh, Windows 8.1 much more appealing to businesses now that there's uh, Outlook on some of the cheaper surfaces. Let's see what hitting that button does. So it does the same exact thing as hitting that down there. So that start button, at least on the tablet interface, is useless. <laughs> All my apps are still there. Very nice. All right. Awesome. So the upgrade was pretty seamless. Nothing seems awry or anything like that. It changed my computer to uh, this PC. So with that in mind, let's check out the uh, properties window. Windows RT 8.1, NVIDIA Tegra 3, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 bit. There you have it. There you have it. Pretty seamless upgrade. Uh, I didn't have any problems. It's, it, 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 it seems to work great, too. Let's check out the new Internet Explorer, which opens way quicker than the old one did. Let's check out the version number. I think it's 11. Yep. Internet Explorer 11 comes with this. It's the RTM version. General, it generally feels a lot snappier. I will give it that. It's a lot more responsive than uh, it was before. Feels less beta-ish than Windows 8 did, which is pretty nice. It's just opened up Explorer. Opening Explorer feels the same, so that's just the way it was. So, that was a very seamless upgrade. Very, very seamless, and it seems to work just fine. So, I'm pretty happy with that. That's nice. One thing they also added, uh, along with this Windows 8.1 uh, launch, is an official Facebook app. After a year of this thing being out, is finally here. So this very young ecosystem is finally maturing. This guy needs to go away. That's better. I know how to use Windows. Go away. The store has changed quite a bit. Uh, seems that the layout is a little bit the layout's actually really nice. <laughs> I 
Facebook app. Now here's the official Facebook app that's finally been released. So the store's been updated for Windows 8.1. Interface is a little bit tweaked. It seems like less of a cluster. Alright. Yeah, it's really pushing the cloud hard. Switch to a Microsoft account on this PC. No, thank you. Sign into each app separately. And it's actually Facebook Inc. that did this app, so it took them about a year for this to come. Installing Facebook, so hit up there and see what's going on. Yep, it's working, so that's good. They have an official Facebook app now. It took them long enough to get that out there. There's probably several enhancements with Windows 8.1, but it's not a whole lot different than uh, Windows 8 was. Uh, it has incremental improvements, but those incremental improvements can go a long way, so that's a very good thing. I like the store. The store looks a lot better than it used to. A lot more organized, a lot less all over the place. All of it's just right at your fingertips, literally, so it's... I think that's just much better than the old store. Let me go grab that Facebook app and move it back over here. Wherever it ended up. I don't know where it ended up. Where'd it go? Where is Facebook? That's a Facebook app I need to get rid of. I'm going to delete that one. That's an old app called Facebook Now I used to use. Uh, where'd the Facebook app go? It didn't pin the Facebook app to start right by itself for some stupid reason, so I had to pin it myself just now. So, I shall... You hold that down and then... So you can actually organize categories with a name with a name above them now. So you can actually organize stuff a lot more easily. I'm going to move this all the way back over here, put it right under Twitter. There you go. So little subtleties and things have changed in the interface, but for the most part, uh, it's very similar. It's nothing. It, it's not going to turn back into Windows 7 like a lot of people are hoping it is, and they have unrealistic unreal expectations to think that. But the functionality is subtly improved, I think, it, uh, so far. I'm sure there's. I'm sure I'm discover other ways that it has been improved, but. Overall, Windows 8.1 is an improvement. It, it it brings stuff to the table that really should have been there at the at the beginning, and it feels less beta-ish than Windows uh, uh, than Windows 8 did, and that's nice. So there you have it. I thought it was supposed to add a timer somewhere. I guess it didn't. Desktop apps seem to look a lot like Metro apps now. Like all the uh, Office stuff here, that's all desktop apps. They don't look any different than any other one. The calculator app looks a little different. Uh, they, yeah, the look is just less harshly different on some of these apps. Yep. Well, there you have it. That's upgrading to Windows. RT 8.1. There you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.